Unraveling the Strings The Meaning of Dance Like a Puppet Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating English phrase, dance like a puppet. This expression is rich in imagery and metaphor, and understanding it can add a colorful layer to your English communication skills. Let's explore what it means, its origins, and how you can use it in everyday conversations. When we say someone dances like a puppet, we're painting a picture with words. Literally, it refers to a puppet dancing, controlled by strings by a puppeteer. Figuratively, however, it implies that a person is being controlled by someone else, their actions dictated not by their own free will but by another's commands or desires. This phrase often carries a negative connotation, suggesting manipulation or lack of autonomy. The concept of being like a puppet has been used in literature and speech for centuries, symbolizing the control one entity has over another. While it's hard to pinpoint the exact origin of dance like a puppet, it's clear that the imagery is meant to evoke the idea of control and manipulation, much like a puppeteer pulls strings to make a puppet move. This phrase can be used in various contexts, from personal relationships to politics, where one party is perceived to be under the undue influence of another. To help you better understand how to use dance like a puppet, let's look at some example sentences. He's just dancing like a puppet to his boss's demands never standing up for what he actually believes. The new administration was criticized for dancing like a puppet to the interests of powerful corporations. These examples show how the phrase can be used to describe situations where individuals or groups are not acting independently but are being heavily influenced or controlled by external forces. Understanding phrases like, dance like a puppet, can enrich your English vocabulary and help you express complex ideas more vividly. It's a powerful metaphor for control and manipulation, and recognizing its use can add depth to your comprehension of English literature and everyday speech. We hope this video has shed some light on this interesting phrase, and you feel more confident using it in your conversations. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.